Cobblemon. What is Cobblemon? Well, today we are hopping into this brand new Pokemon Minecraft mod and we're gonna explore it for ourselves. So sit back, my dudes, and enjoy some Cobblemon with your dupe. Let's get going. So today we're gonna start by choosing our starter Pokemon. Who do we wanna bring into battle? Oh, look how good they look. So we can start off with a Kanto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos region, Alola, or Galar starter. I think I'm gonna just, I think we're gonna make it classic and bring back our Charmander. I'm gonna go with a Charmander. I'm gonna guess it's R probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. There's our boy Charmander. Check how good he looks too. Like honestly, they did a good job generating this boy. I, I like him. I like him a lot. He's looking good. In today's video, we are going to try to complete the three following objectives. Number one is make Pokeballs. Why make Pokeballs? Because we're going to need to catch Pokemon. Number two, we are going to catch six Pokemon in total, making a full Pokemon party. Number three is evolve my Charmander all the way to a big, fiery, big Charizard. Now, it wouldn't be Minecraft if we didn't start off by punching trees, of course. All right, I've got enough wood to go ahead and make a crafting table. Let's go ahead and build that. And now we're going to make our very first pickaxe and we're going to go down to the mines. I might as well collect up some food before I go down there. No, we're not going to eat Pokemon, I swear to God. And they've done a great, like, great job at making them look like they're from Pokemon. Like, look at this Doe Duo. Like, tell me that was not from Pokemon. I mean, from Minecraft. I probably mixed up that whole sentence. But they look great and they're supposed to look like they came from Minecraft. Bro, I just found a Rhydon. Look how big this boy is. Level 43. All right, I'm going to collect up some cobblestone here. All right, first stone pickaxe coming up. Now, by the looks of it, if we want to make a Pokeball, we actually have to get red apricorns and copper. So we need to go down to the mines and get copper. If we want to make a great ball, we need to get iron and blue apricorns and red apricorns. If we want to make an ultra ball, we need to get yellow apricorns, black apricorns, and gold. So we need basically iron, gold, and copper. So our next objective, since we have tools now and have a little bit of food, I think we should head down to the mines and try to find ourselves those resources. Okay, so this is really cool. I was looking around for a mine, but I actually just figured out apricorns probably grow on trees and i just killed it i'm guessing that wasn't fully harvestable hey let's go so it's a pink apricorn apricorn sorry i think i keep calling it apricorn apricorn so i have a pink one now so we are on our way to collecting up these pokeballs well it's getting pretty dark and the moon's coming out so i guess i should make myself a bed thank god i killed all those sheep earlier uh, while i'm still looking for a mine i did manage to find some blue apricorns which are going to help us make a oh god i broke the black one which will help us make our Pokeballs. Hey, and look at that. We actually found a blue apricorn seed, which we're going to be able to use to plant eventually and make an apricorn farm. Now, along this mission, I have been collecting up some advancements, which I thought would be cool to share with you guys. Um, the world of Cobblemon. Choose a starter. We managed to get that one so far. It says, is it a fruit or is it a nut? Right click, right click to harvest a fully grown apricorn. So I've been just destroying them. So we might have been doing that wrong. Um, it says, doing my part, occasionally apricorns will drop an apricorn seed, use one to plant a new tree, and then we actually have all these ones to fill out as well, which is really cool. Now, I just noticed something um, up there. There looks like a green ore is sticking out of the ground up there. What is this? Oh, it actually let me break it with a stone pick. Oh, I know what that is. So it's actually a thunderstone. Let me see. Oh, it is. Look at that. I know Pokemon, boy. All right, so I've been saying I'm going to find a cave for the past, like, I don't know, 20 minutes I've been recording. But I finally did find one. I'm going to make some torches. Hey, I found our first bit of iron that was actually hiding underneath this cobble. I mean, this, uh, whatever it's called. All right, so while we're down here, I'll throw up a crafting box. And we'll throw up our furnace. And let's go ahead and start making this iron into iron ingots. Oh, we spotted it. We spotted gold, dudes. We're going down. Oh, man. Here we go. We got some gold. Oh, geez. Things are about to get a little spooky. We're down in this really deep cave, and honestly, I don't really know where I am, but I'm just trying to collect up enough resources so we don't have to come down here again. All right, now, just because I haven't played Minecraft for a while, don't think I forgot. You gotta make some armor, my dudes. Bro, we just found a rat down here. Big old raticate. <laughs> That's right, boy. I'm a monster hunter. All right, I got enough iron. It's about that time. We going to make some armor, boys. Well, I think I've gotten pretty much all the supplies we needed down here for now. So we're going to go up 
Ah, oh, I finally made my way out of that dingy underworld. Hey, there we go. There's a nice little village over there. We can go, you know, we can go make a settlement over there. Ah, uh, this looks like a pretty good area to start my farm. Now, I only have one blue apricorn, apricorn seed to go. So, we're going to start it off, and I'm just going to start by making a hoe. So, I need to cut down a couple things here. All right. So, I'm going to start by making our little apricorn field here. Looks like I can put one here. I don't have any bone. Oh, I do have bones. I lied. Let's see if this tree... Okay, that tree didn't grow right away. All right. So, I'm going to take this house over. I'm going to put my chest in here, and I'm going to put all my loot in here. This is now my little area here. All right. Now, we're off to search for some apricorns because I want to make some pokeballs so we can officially make our team of six. Oh, look at this baby Weedle. I'm going to kill him. Let's level up our Charmander. Boom, he's dead. I'm just going to farm Weedles. And our Pokemon learned a new move, Dragon Breath. Now, I just realized when I was out battling, my Pokemon's health is getting very low. So I think I'm going to actually have to make a healer. So I found the healing machine and it requires one, two, three, four, five piece of iron and some copper ingots. So let's go ahead and build that or else our Charmander's gonna die. All right, so five pieces of iron, two pieces of copper. Boom, we've got our healing machine. And I guess we'll just shove it in this corner. How do I let it charge? Oh, okay, so I think it's charging slowly here because every time I click on it, it's going down. So I think we just have to wait a few minutes. So let's come back. Now I spotted in the distance from Apricot horns hey here's some yellow ones and i got a seed let's go oh geez i just killed my charmander trying to kill this nuzleaf oh damn and since i did manage to get another apricorn i can actually plant it we're gonna plant this yellow one that way we can get yellow apricorns hey bro this is my poke bed get the heck out all right time to see if i can use my machine and i can there we go your party is being healed all right that's pretty sick so our healer does work it just has to charge over time oh god dudes it says my charmander is ready to evolve i don't know how to evolve it though oh here we go so i opened up this button it's m and this kind of comes out with your stats and your party and everything so you can actually show us our move stats info and you can click evolve Let's go. My boy, look at him. Turned into a Charmeleon. Damn, Charmeleon looking good, dude. Look at that. Hard work and dedication. We made a new advancement, my dudes. Oh, God, I killed my Pokemon again. Now, I did notice we can actually craft a Pokeball, our very first Pokeball, because we have yellow and black Apricorns, and I believe that makes an Ultra Ball. That and that, that. Oh, Beho, and he gives us four. Let's go! And it says the first of many. Oh, baby, I found the first Pokemon I want to catch, this Taurus. Let's let's get this Taurus, dudes. All right, so I'm going to Ember him. I'm going to knock his health down to halfway, and then we're going to whip an Ultra Ball out his head, and hopefully we catch this thing. 13%, let's go. Okay, we can use this, Paul. Throw a Pokeball at your opponent. Let's go. Come on, dudes. The first catch. Let's go. Hold it in there. Oh, look at that animation, though. Hey, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. It jumped out. It jumped out. Come on, get in there. Get in that Pokeball. I thought we had that thing for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, yes, we did it. A new friend. Let's check the advancement. All right, so our advancement is use a Pokeball and catch your first friend, which we did. Let's go. I'm going to try to catch this chicken next. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, but you get the Pokeball back. That's pretty sick. So you just throw Pokeballs everywhere. That's sick. Well, oh my God, that big booty. Get it out of my face. Yo, let's catch this little thing. Let's catch this boy. Smash a Pokeball off its forehead. Let's go. Come on, boy. I know you want to be caught. You stay in that Pokeball. Come on, it's an Ultra Ball, too. Hey, let's go. That's party number three. Yo, what the heck, dude? It's a Ditto. I have to catch this thing. Have to catch this thing. Come on, boy. Get in that Ultra Ball. Yes. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Payback got him. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll take a Haunter all day. Get a Gengar eventually. Boom. Oh my God. Here it is, dudes. The Magikarp. Come on, baby. Sink that ball. Yes. 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 We got it. We got him. Now, I just realized this now. You can actually kill Pokemon. I honestly didn't realize this the whole game. Hey, you think you can catch an Iron Golem? Nope. Well, since my PC, well, since my party is pretty much full, I might as well make a PC. So I need a couple pieces of sand over here, and we can actually build a PC to store our Pokemon in. All right, so now I can actually build this PC. Now, there's not much room in here. I might be able to stack these. No, I can't do that. So I'll put my PC outside my house. Boy, look at that PC. 
We can actually drop our party into our PC, which is really cool. I like this. Now that I've completed objective one, which was create a Pokeball, and objective two was to create a full team of six Pokemon, we are now going to complete objective three, which is evolve my Charmeleon into a big fiery Charizard. So I went out into the field and I killed Wooloo after Wooloo and just innocent Pokemon until it was finally time. Oh man, finally after killing so many innocent Pokemon, our boy is ready to evolve. Are you ready, dudes? Here we go. Evolve. Wait, I didn't do it. Hold on. Evolve. Boom. Oh my god, it's the big Char Char. Look at him. He's huge. What an epic dude. Oh my god, that is such a sick shot of you. You are epic, my dude. Holy. Look at that, dudes. Totally worth the wait. If you guys enjoyed Cobblemon, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see maybe an episode two of this, let me know down in the comment section. And who knows, maybe we'll come back and visit our big old Char Char.